another exercise that I do on a regular basis pretty much every time I come here is to make sure that she is resilient enough to handle commotion, noise, and movement around her without losing her mind and while staying connected to my energy that is saying don't worry about it just focus on me if i say simply be with this then just be with this and no matter how noisy or busy it gets it really doesn't matter I recently got a comment of somebody that obviously didn't understand what I was doing or why I was doing it of why are you making these horses endure these cracks of the whip? Are you uh, enduring this? All it is is a crack of the whip. It obviously is not hurting her. And in a world full of sounds and movements, <laughs> good girl, good girl, enduring, oh my god, this horse needs to endure this horrific torture. Whatever. This is an exercise in resilience, in being able to endure or handle some sound, some movement without losing your freaking mind. And she's doing this really well and as you can see there is no immense suffering involved you are a good girl and again when i started this process with her this was unthinkable. She didn't trust anything I did. This was not something that she was familiar with or used to. And now she is. And she is okay with it, used to it. Understand that this is not hurting her in any way, shape or form. That this is something that she can just be with because it means nothing because I do this on a very regular basis pretty much every time I show up here again not because I'm teaching her anything new obviously she knows this exercise she understands that it means nothing she understands that what I'm asking of her is to just be with it and she does understand all of this because we practice this on a regular basis. Yes, very repetitive. More of the same, more of the same, more of the same. But that's how you learn. That's how learning gets established. That's how learning is maintained. Certain skills just needs to be practiced over and over to master. And unless you practice them they will lose it and that's what I'm doing here most of the time when I am here training the horses it's 80% maintenance and maybe if they're in a good state of mind 20% introducing a new thing that then I will practice over and over and over and over again in the 80% of the sessions coming after. So even if I introduce something new, 
I will be practicing that new thing over and over and over again. And trust me, all these things that she is now able to be with as she's staying here calmly like you want from a children's pony no matter what commotion is happening around her or even things touching her she's fine with it because we trained this so frequently and yes it is like watching paint dry but that's just that's just horse training for you very good girl very very good girl yes you are a very good girl good girl Good girl. Good girl. There, what a good girl. You are a good girl. And for the most part with Lily, it's not even about back up uh, as a exercise in and of itself. It is me asking her to back up in order to train her willingness to follow a human's lead and do what the human is asking for. The backup is just one way in which I establish this willingness, establish communication, establish the difference between ignore and respond there <gasps> good girl And why is it so important for her to be able to handle these things, yeah, especially things landing and being and moving on top of her? Well, if this is a pony that is destined to be a riding pony, then she needs to be able to handle having a little human being sitting here doing their thing and moving around and kicking her in the ribs to making her go or pulling at reins or yelling at a friend or whatever and if she can't even be okay with a string thrown over her back how is a child going to mount her and throw her leg over her back and then land on her back uh, this, these are prerequisites for riding and the owner has indicated to me that yeah she, he would like this pony to be eventually a riding pony. I'm not gonna get on her because she's too small for me, but I can make sure that all the prerequisites are met for somebody else to start her under saddle and actually ride her. And she can handle all of this. That means that somebody can safely get her to the next level a person small enough with some skill can bring her to the next level. Very good. You are a good girl. And then just general willingness. Can I ask you to go out on the circle? Very good. Oh, nice. 
can I ask you to stop? Basic, basic stuff. Again, this is not the first time that I practice this with this pony. And part of it is just repetition. To make sure that she doesn't lose these skills. That this is something that is routinely asked of her, that she understands a barking dog, a rabbit jumping out from the woods, whatever. Here. It's over here, sweetie. There you go. Having the resilience to not react to sounds and movements is important. And that's what we practice, practice, practice. Super good.